Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jakey here for another reaction. Now today, I am reacting to X-Men 97 Season 1, Episode 5. Last week's episode, interesting. Uh, th I thoroughly enjoyed the retro game um, part of it. Uh, and I did enjoy the whole uh, moment with Storm and Forge. However, I didn't like how they were spliced together. The episode was all overall. I think that we could have had more time with either one of them and I, but I don't think it should have sacrificed the episode I, I kind of wish they either had uh, a episode each to explain more things and delve more into that it just felt you know it just felt it just it just it, oh my chair just fell down <laughs> it just it just didn't feel it wasn't the best sort of storytelling in my opinion and listen I know that when they release episodes one to three I know that they released it as as a my chair still falling down. Uh, it's still going down, Holland. <laughs> Bastard. There we go. Yeah, when they released episode one to three, they released uh, they well they released it separately. But I know they did like a Marvel night to get people and YouTubers and stuff like that into web to, as a premiere. And episode one three each different each fantastic each thoroughly enjoyable. And I know and now you understand why they stopped the three because they realized this is to get the hype up and people are gonna love this. Episode four to fill then. I think those ones are such high quality that they, this one felt like it dropped in standards, but it didn't. It was still good. I just, for me, if you just had them separate, I, I enjoy wacky episodes. I enjoy weird episodes. I enjoy crazy episodes. It doesn't, some episodes don't have to just be entirely to do the plot. I don't mind that. Like it's in like the overarching story, but it needs to lead somewhere. It needs to build to something. And that's what, so far it's been building so far, you know? Um, so I could have just had them doing the retro gaming, but I mean, and then just give us a little bit of something in the end, but it, it is what it is. You know, I'll take, I'll take, let's, I'll take it. It's still good. I still enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, this week's episode, I'd imagine it'll be a part two, uh, or at least a continuation on from Storm and Forge, uh, their situation. So yeah, I am interested to see where we go. So without talking too much about it, I am just going to jump into this. So I hope I enjoy this episode. I hope you enjoy this reaction. And if you do, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. That'll be super. But other than that, see you on the other side. Very triumphant music they use in during this, not gonna lie. And this is even more triumphant. Mm. Oh shit, cable! That was cable! We just got cable! Oh this is new, that was new, that's new! Oh shit! Oh! No, oh. Some call them monsters, but all over the planet they are known as mute. Yeah, baby! Oh, oh, this is a sit down little fucking uh, interview. A renowned scientist such as yourself, Dr. McCoy. <laughs> Blushes. Here in Westchester, the X Men's home. A school. Oh, it's an actual, ex not an expo. So it's not like an expo, but it's actually a. Because they're allowed on the premises. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some might say propaganda, I guess, but like. Inviting them into the home to actually do a full-on interview, showing them places where they've never been before, trying to probably change people's views on the mutants to show them more humane, I guess. Interesting. Not like regular boys. <laughs> more hands-on learning, you know? <laughs> a Wolverine. If Wolverine's in this, can't wait. I want him to be like actually sitting in the, in the you know the so the like in the chair like a therapy session. Oh, go on, Genosha. Gambit, please remember that should the new Blackbird suffer a malfunction, you are the only soul on board for whom gravity would most certainly be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've actually built statues of of of, of Magnus. Let's call him Magnus, shall we? And Charles. Oh, this place is going to be wonderful. <laughs> this is an actual paradise for them. Ah, oh, what was her name? Is her name Angel again? Is that Angel, the one that was in first class? Has a very much a Tokyo feel to it, doesn't it? Magneto is right. <laughs> Welcome back. That's great. I love the fact that they're well respected. They they respect them and 
They, well, they've got fucking statues up for them. Oh! <laughs> okay. So, okay. Madeline Pryor is actually at Genosha doing good. Like, actually, I thought we might have, like, a little moment where it's like, oh, shit, where, what kind of path is she actually going to go down? But she's here doing good, which is great. Two always better than one. I like the fact that they're very inviting. I don't think Magneto will be. Oh, he is. <laughs> okay, he is. I'll, I'll shut the fuck up. Oh, here he is! Oh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Oh, he looks so cool. He actually looks so good. God, was that the last time we saw him in the Alps episode? <laughs> he just wanted to say hello to his heroes. Aw. Oh. That's what an interesting looking character. <laughs> that... That that kind of uh, reminded me of uh, something from Rick and Morty. Just that little simple thing of falling back and the creature just pushes him up. I don't know why, but it just did. Oh, she drooling all over over him in front of him. Poor Remy. He's so cool. Nightcrawler's such a cool character, man. Don't be a bitter bitch. Don't be a bitter bitch, Gambit. Oh, yes. Oh, well, <laughs> this place is such paradise. They could just dance in the middle of the streets. These will be characters that people will be pointing out at, and I won't know some of them. <laughs> no, I hope that Magneto is actually not, like, you know... All over his, like, all over his girl, you know. Maybe he's trying to help her. I blame so far for We too busy for love. Too busy still. Too. <laughs> oh, he, he, Remy loves everyone. He actually looks like such a dweeb, doesn't he? <laughs> I love him. Let's talk about you and Marvel Girl. I hear you're the X Men's power couple. Marvel Girl. Marv. Marvel girl? I haven't heard her call that before. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. The two lovebirds still ain't talking. He's grieving his son. How? I mean, gr grieve. Oh, he's, he's an asshole. Grieve with your woman. So why are you not with her right now? Like, keep it arm's length. Oh. Jean was using the power of the Phoenix to block my optic blasts. We could see each other's eyes. Oh, this is beautiful. This is lovely. Oh, that was so... That was such a beautiful line. That was very... That very much felt like that there... The way the story is being told with the camera pan and stuff like that very much felt to me like like an anime. That's how the way it was being told. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was that was cool. I enjoyed that. Forget how many sunrises your eyes have seen. Too many. Ever seen one of you, Red. <laughs> oh, oh. Logan. Wolverine. Uh, Yeah, you're a good man. Oh, he's he's actually such a good man. He's probably raging that's happened because he. Oh my God, Wolverine! Good on you, buddy. Good on you. He's gonna turn turn that fucking camera off. He's gonna walk out. Oh. Oh. 
You're ungrateful. We fight, risk our lives for you. Oh! Robots, crazy aliens. Oh! <laughs> I gave him up because you can't say thank you. Because I had to stomach your questions and prove that I'm a person. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Oh! Um. Thank God, because it's the only reason you people are still alive. <laughs> I thought he was just like, we're done here. He's just... Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Scotty too hotty. Fucking hell. <laughs> Pump the brakes, kid. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, he dragged her and the whole of humanity. Love that. Love that. We need to be thinking about how to speak is that Moira? That is Moira, yeah. And respect. A poster child. Hello, you. Okay, hold on. Okay, Frost. I love the fact that we got this Frost, uh, Frost back. Uh, what's her actual character called again? Is it Frost? I can't remember. Um, Christ, yeah. Really enjoyed it in the in the actual original series. And first class, she was amazing. She looked great. <laughs> but have they decided, right, well, let's be authentic to the 90s television. Uh, and should we still get terrible <laughs> people to do terrible Irish and Scottish accents? Should we? Because that's what I got from that there. From those two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wish for me to rule Denosha. Oh! <laughs> oh, he suits it. They got statues already. <laughs> it's true. He's he's not fit for that. Oh, it's awful! The accent's awful! No! Okay, maybe, you know what, maybe they're being authentic to the show. I can't, uh... Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I, I think I think they're being authentic to the show, right? Because they, they, yeah. Unless it's the same actors who were then awful back in the 90s with their accents. Which, again, it's, it's loyalty to them, but... Listen, as someone who is considers himself Irish, parents are Irish, uh, um, and uh, who <laughs> knows so many Scottish people who goes to Glasgow and parts of Scotland at least probably about two, three times a year. I mean, shit. <laughs> you see, this is very anime. I love the feeling to this. Oh. I ought to knock you from here to the North Pole. You think <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, so he's he's digging her. Is he is he doing it actually because he cares or is he just doing it for a uh, strategy? As with Gambit, loving you makes broken men whole so that even as you deny us our heartache is not in vain. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bears. This music as well is amazing. That was amazing. That's some. That is something I will say that they've improved upon loads. Is the music that it isn't just sort of like it was. It was that was just. Yeah, it was lovely. The music I think they've just they just improved upon further this season because they've got the money. They can afford like strings and more strings, orchestras, things like that. Wow. Ah, bow time. Bye time, buddy. Describe him to me. Describe Nathan. <sighs> I'm gonna cry, aren't I? On every face, on every street. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I can't see color. Yay! Don't Yay! You can explain. Mm -hmm. uh. If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Oh! Madeline? <laughs> Madeline? <laughs> of course she she knew. <sighs> oh shit, this is turned into reality TV. It was the astral plane. <laughs> Leader, father, husband, and you, 
You don't trust your memory. Oh. You love me? Mine. Oh. Oh. What is it? What happened? What happened? That was that was that 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 was crazy. <laughs> that was nuts. I'll tell you what's nuts. How handsome this motherfucker looks. So this did we get we're getting the origins of this now. This is great. Ooh, look at you. Look her pining after him in these in these in these flashback photos. <laughs> Oh Christ! That's... Oh yeah, you, I, you can see why she fell in love with him. Oh yeah, sexy, sexy time. Yeah, they're talking to us guys. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. I don't. This is horrible. That's so heartbreaking. That was such a sad scene. That was so sad. Oh, we have an actual party, an actual ball. Oh, this is sick. This is such cool designs. Most other nations don't allow a terrorist to be their leader. Yet so many allow their leaders to be terrorists. Oh my god, here comes this queen. Oh yes. Yeah, oh. <laughs> get out of my, my fucking way. Yes, 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 yes. I can't believe I got Jean looking like she did in episode three. Oh, poor Gambit. And now I'm getting Rogue looking like this. And we're, having, we're now going to have a Sky Dance. Oh my god, this is sexy. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is so reflective of the episode where she was showing them on the dance floor, episode one, and she realised that she couldn't do those moves. She couldn't touch people like that. And then... That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Poor Remy. He's had to be... Yeah, he was gone. Um, yeah, but then, you know, look at her now being able to do it. Are we okay, Madeline? What is it? Madeline? Are we okay? Madeline? Do you want to tell us what the fuck happened? Oh. Oh no. That was too good. Why did she do it? Oh. oh, it's Cable! He's here! Oh, oh shit. Things are going down. It's going down. It's going down. Oh my god. It's going down. Let's go. I'm so excited. Something's about to go down. Is this where he... Is this where she finds out? Oh my god. Show she knows. <laughs> now she knows. Oh! I'm reaching out. I'm reaching out. What just happened? Oh my god, that is a supreme sentinel if I've ever seen one. Is that people dead? That's it, Nike. Oh my god. Have they, is he dead? Is Kurt dead? He's dead. <laughs> Oh, he's alive. So are you. <sighs> Fucking hell. So Holy shit, what the hell just happened? Oh, are they dead? No. Oh, he's... He's furious. 
he thinks this is uh, this is the government behind it. We shall not live our days wondering if we could have saved more. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh my god, this is amazing. I'm actually near tears at how amazing that was. I know I'm well enough. That looks that music, the how cool it looks, man. So I'm talking about Remy. That's what I'm talking about. Fucking put respect to Gambit, you know? And also our queen. Oh, that is just... I'm going to say well it up again. Oh, no. Is it going to take down Charles' statue? <sighs> Fuck! Oh, my God. He's... He's reliving it again. Promised Leech would never be scared again. Oh, imagine he dies. I need to say, this is actually making me quite emotional. This man. <laughs> oh, God, it! oh, this music. He's, he's so cool. He's so cool. How are they going to be keeping him? How is he keeping that back? He's sacrificing himself. Eric. Oh, shit, she's... She means business. Go on, Gambit. Oh, Gambit! Oh, Gambit! Oh my god, Gambit! Remember it. Oh. <sighs> that is so much to take in. That's so much to take in. Holy shit. Oh my god, they brought you an ocean back just to do this to it. Wow. She can touch him. Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, what a fucking episode! Oh my god. That was outstanding. And that, guys, my reaction to X Men 97 Season 1, Episode 5. I've given myself 
45 minutes to relax, I think. I needed it. That was an outstanding episode again. Like, if you had that little dip, <laughs> big again, I just think it was because of like, how the story's told for me. <clears throat> Overall, I just thought this episode was brilliant. It was encapsulated what the X-Men is. That sort of heartbreaking sort of turmoil. That all the stuff they've gone through separately and together. But now building for a better tomorrow, a brighter future. And then obviously just disaster to happen. That heartbreaking moment of will they, won't they... Uh, it's just, yeah, it was just, yeah, uh, it was just heartbreaking, man. Uh, it's, I, I mean, yeah, it's just, you cannot, you can't, can't say anything else other than it was just heartbreaking. Um, yeah, I, 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 so much happened, so much happened, and I'm actually, I've got, a this is going to be the quickest outro I've ever done, um, because I've, I've got stuff to do. So I'm going to be quick about this one, guys. <laughs> Shockingly. Probably won't. <laughs> Here we go. So Cable in the intro. Great to see him again. Obviously popped up later on. But yeah, great to see Cable in the uh, intro with uh, Apocalypse. I didn't even recognise, realise it was Apocalypse until I'd done uh, that, you know, until afterwards. I was like, oh, wait, hold on. And to myself, I was like, that was Apocalypse. Um, I love the fact that they're going through that sort of, that, that again, it's the 90s, but that interview of sort of like a, let me, let me bring you into our mansion. Almost like, uh, MT almost like MTV Cribs, but not necessarily MTV Cribs. In a sense, it was let me show you what we're actually like, what we're trying to build. We'll show you our close quarters. We'll do actual interviews. We could see what it's kind of like. To, like, a, like, is it an expose? I guess. Um, I don't know, but it was a very thorough, uh, sort of interview. It was it was, it, it was great. I really enjoyed that sort of that thing about having them interview certain people like Hank and obviously Jubilee would want to be on the big screen, you know, um. But yeah, so I, overall, I thought, yeah, I really enjoyed that sort of moment. Uh, again, the Janisha, then find ourselves in Janisha. It's a paradise. It's where they could believe, actually belong, where they could be themselves without any fear or prejudice. And there seems to be nothing that they have to pay for. Everyone's like sort of like, you know, just eating food and drinking. Everyone's having a good time. Um, it's just so good. It was just, it's so... That, and that, again, the contrast of what they thought it was going to be to then end up what it, what it was... And then what I ended up being. And that's... It, it's, it was just... It was paradise. And I'm... And you can see when, when Rogue's like, oh, he's actually... His dream came true. He actually... It, 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 it was made happen. And... And it's just, just so heartbreaking what happens. But what a moment that was. Having all kid, kids like sort of around. The one I said in... Uh, is that Angel? That's not Angel. Obviously, I know... I meant... I don't know. It's, it's the one that was in um, First Class. And I can't remember if she was in the... For, and that's what I thought it was if if she was a uh, if it was her that was in uh, that I can't remember if she's in the first one because I know Angel's Archangel and etc but I just can't remember the name so if there is anything let me know probably someone's probably already wrote it aggressively um, yeah Madeline Pryor then ended up in Janisha uh, Janisha Janosha being able to sort of like help build a better world for these mutants uh, and have a council of mutants of people should we trust them should, should we really should could we i don't know but it, it looks like it's above board everyone's there to make a, be a better world for mutants eventually you know uh so yeah what are what a uh what, what a moment having also moira there with their is it screech or uh is that Havoc? No, 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 not Screech. It's Screech? No, Havoc. It's not Havoc. Screech. Is it Screech? Anyway, the one that, could, that you know, the, the Scottish fella, terrible accent. I don't care. If any, if they, if that's someone there, they're like, no, they brought in someone that's act, like, you know, that's an actual actor. I go, they're a terrible actor. If they brought in people that are Scottish and Irish to do those accents, then I want to, I, I want to discuss things with them. But they've gone, yeah, they were terrible accents before, so let's just keep it the same. I respect that, actually. Um... But yeah, so having having like um, all those people there that we sort of reminisce over again. If there's gonna be Easter eggs in there, I know that that he uh, uh, that there's gonna be certain people that I watched reactions and follow on the internet who are gonna be all over this, uh, like sort of going, yeah, this, 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 this. But yeah, um, yeah, having Kurt back, uh, having Mike Rollo back, it's it. What's he, he looks so good, so fun, so energetic, so pure. And it just it, having him in this and in, in, in all of this and actually being happy and a force. Yeah, it was just great. Great. And it just I, I just love his design and it, this conflict of uh, of how he is. Again, that 
again that that, that one with the was the last time we saw him was it in the Alps that's with the yeah when Wolverine can't understand why he's been so like how he still has his faith and stuff like that and then ends with Wolverine praying it's it's yeah it, again but how great having him back um Remy pining after uh, Rogue after all and saying like trying to act like yeah he doesn't actually care that much he's like you know uh, you know I'm a sinner and all that but you know he knows what he really wants she knows what she really wants eventually but there yeah. um Marvel girl uh, they're called Jean Marvel girl I've never heard that before so let me know where that's from uh issue comics if that there's relevance to it has it been brought up before I can't remember it but yeah um. Yeah, Scott and uh, Jean have like sort of like have a talk about the moment when they were, uh, when they first met, well, they first went on a date and it was going to put when she like lost her, uh, lost was losing herself to what well, the Phoenix. It, it, again, that little remembrance moment was great. Parallel in both of them. Again, the act the shooting the the shots in some of these, the anime anime shots were outstanding. They were great. They were they were just they were just on point, and I truly do appreciate um how uh. How, how they look again i'm not the biggest fan of anime, anime but i respect i respect the art form it is i just it's some of the story structures in the actual shows i just they just don't grip me they just don't get me and i find out again people say not all anime but the anime i've been given i just feel like it's again like x-men 97 where it was 20 episodes a season or something like that and it just was just it just it just in it was just too many for not really progressing too much like a over a story that's me but i do appreciate the shooting the shots they had in that bike when they're doing the side by side of them telling them they're the, talking about the memories when magneto is like talking about charles with the ice is melting in the background uh, other bits and pieces but overall it was fucking shot of shot it was animated so well um Oh yeah, Jean then kissing Wolverine because she's so confused, I guess. Someone who actually is giving her time and caring for her and believes her to be who she is, etc. It's just... It, I made jokes like, oh, Wolverine, now you've got a chance, but... Here's one <laughs> one Jean's kissing fucking Wolverine, the other one's trying to smash Gambit at the bear. Lovely stuff. <laughs> but yeah, again, what a confusing moment, I guess, for Air Jean, I guess. And then leading to Scott then absolutely bloody losing it. Losing it with the camera crew. Everything pretty much saying we're better. Than, we are better. Than we are. I'm glad we're nothing like you. Because you guys are just absolute bastards. And you, uh, you're just, you just. You're going to. You, yeah. That's it. Basically bastards. It was what a great moment for him. I'm already talking more than I thought I was going to. And I think I hear someone calling me. Hold on. Give me a second. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah. So. Oh, camera's being stubborn. So yes, yeah, Scott losing it, and then having like Moira and and Frost there at the table again. There's been a people of who we were bumped heads with before, and some people who were heroes and stuff like that. Having a balanced uh, um, council was great, and then them wanting uh, Magneto to be the leader and make sense. It was it, I'd imagine they would have wanted it to be Charles, but the only reason why they're in that position is because of Charles' sacrifice. There had to be Magneto. So yeah, so it made sense. Again, I love the fact that he wanted to, he wanted her to be, uh, that, uh, he obviously broke to be his queen and they actually, I, at first I thought it might have been strategy but it looks like he just, he, he does really care for her. Um, But yeah, well, a great little moment between them to like actually offering it to her. I really enjoyed that. Um, Then Jean and Cyclops having that little moment where again, they're connecting. I was like, wow, this is it. Like, I was like, here we go. We're, like we're past it now. It's it's they're back together, but it turns out he's two time in Gene with with Madeline Pryor on like a, te a telepathy level across the other side of the world, and it's that he's been dipping in and out of it with her for a past month. It's just like what a betrayal of trust. What a little like again. I feel sorry for Gene because again I understand where he's coming from, but also she's still flesh and blood. She's still got the memory. She's still trying to work out. She's there for him. She is still, and he's just, he just can't see it. And the fact is that he's still, it, it's just heartbreaking stuff. But that moment, like big, like sort of actual Gene appearing, destroying a little moment time, a little moment um, in, in the ancestral plane was just so great. So, so great. <laughs> so good. And again, her literally just calling him out, him out on his shit. Him calling her out as well on some level. But I mean, at one point I thought he was going to say, yeah, Wolverine told me. But he did. He didn't. So that's good to know that Wolverine's like, even though he's, he's like an honest man in a sense, he wouldn't let it go any further with Gene. He was. He wasn't so honest that he wouldn't make things worse for Gene or, like, make anything any issues with him and Cyclops. You know, um. 
So yeah, so uh, but then obviously then Remy and uh, and Rogue having that moment again, her saying like, "I know your heart beats for me. I can't feel it, and I won't be able to feel that. I can't give you what I can and what I want, what I want to, and what you ne- and what you want because I just can't do it, and we need to leave it as it is." Again, such a heartbreaking moment. Bert Gambit saying he played he played the was it the uh, swamp? Oh, what was it again? He said, "Oh shit." Oh. Swamp Fool or something like that. He played something and it was just like, and he did that for her and it's still like, she's like, I know, but we can't progress this any further, you know. It, it's, we have to, and him just being like, yep, I, I'll be friends for now. When, whenever you want me to. But when it's ready, I'll hop back into it. Poor guy. Poor, poor guy. Obviously poor guy towards the end as well. But yeah. But that little moment then, that dance, that, that again, that, again, felt so, like I said, as people are going to say, yeah, well, it's, it's animation, stuff, but it just had that anime feel, because that dance, and dance, they had, like, dancing in the air, the sort of blinkering in the background of the, uh, of, like, the certain, like, lighting and stuff like that, and the panning of the, ca- of the camera, of the camera, you know what I mean, cross things, it was beautiful, great music as well, very seductive, I really appreciate it, but it was, like, so, such a good episode, such a good episode, but that was such a good moment, so sexy, so so hot so beautiful so romantic uh other people just watch from afar uh, it was just like and, and then people obviously get involved it was just so so bearable so so x-men and it just i yeah i really really bloody enjoyed that it was so good um C- cable turned the bow nowhere again just being like trying to obviously save the day can't obviously the time capsule thing is brought him back to the other to the back to where he is maybe where bloody uh, forges and storm waiting for him who knows but but yeah so it, it, so there's that that's that bit but him by her realising uh, Madeline Pryor realising that Cable is her son and then him saying I'm sorry mom," and then going it's just oh what a heart breaking moment for them heart breaking moment for them I'm just so yeah that was that was beautiful beautiful but heartbreaking again and then what proceeded after that was even more heartbreaking you know um but yeah so uh do, 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 but yeah have a cable there so then you have you have the sentinel sentinel supreme i'll call them there's probably another word for them in the comics let me know down below but what an absolute villainous creation from their pair that was like how redonkulous that was i cannot believe the utter destruction that was caused was unbelievable like how was it that again? My thought was that it was, it was coming from back in like from from the future. That's what I thought, and it came into the future, and that's what Cable followed it. But if it isn't, and they've created that now in that moment, where did they get all that power from? Who have they been putting behind it? Who is behind it? The main puppet a puppet master behind it all. I mean, it's just. Uh, it was just yeah. It's just uh, the destruction cause again. I thought everyone was dead. I thought we lost fucking Kurt. He turned out to be alive, but but then all the other ones were down, looking like they are dead. And then it just get it gets worse. But it was absolute destruction. Then we got brilliant moments between, um, between what do you call it? Between Remy and uh, uh Remy and Rogue, sort of like on the bikes together, working side by side. Really cool with the animation, the the fight scenes, and and the the uh yeah. It just it was just so good. And then he had Magneto, then just like being an absolute. G and trying his best to take down his absolute his fucking the it, it, the the Omega bloody uh, the, the Sentinel you know it was just it was just it was on it was on a different level it was just on a different level I just thought the it was just everything was just teeing up so nicely I mean Magneto then having his moment with him well he's he's keeping back Rogue and Gambit to be able to save them because, well probably mainly Rogue. Gambit probably just he had to do whilst he was there. Where, but, uh, but yeah, but I, I just that moment of him holding back, realizing that he's again he can only hold back this back for so much longer. Again, we'll have to see how it is at next episode, the episode after or whatever. But that little moment where he is you know, he the, he looks down at least he said he would never he would never he would always protect that they will always be safe safe or whatever like that to then be able to go look at him and then say speak to him in his mother tongue, his his mother well mother's tongue but mother tongue just be able to go. I said, don't don't worry, child, or don't you be worried, child, or something like that. And then it it seems like a sacrifice. Now again, obviously we mess up with time travel, mess up with cable, cables involved, forges involved, bishops involved, all these people involved. There is a chance that you know, <laughs> there there is a chance that uh, I just realised the reason why Mad why 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 uh, why Jean never recognised Cable to be her son was because obviously they didn't have the kid by then, but. 
is there a chance that now that is it, is it because Madeline actually gave birth? She knows she could see it, she could feel it. That's why she knows, you know, that that was Cable. Or will now when Jean sees her Cable, will she now notice that's my son? But anyway, because we're messing with trying time travel, there's a chance that these people might not be actually be dead. Now, I do get that. But if it's the same thing with Avengers Infinity War after that. People thought, well, time travel's obviously going to be a thing. So, you know, they come back. But still, did that change the out- like how you felt about it, Endgame? No, it was fucking outstanding. So that's what I mean, is that you know time travel's going to be dealing with, people might come back, etc, etc. So we'll have to see. Uh, but yeah, but Remy having his moment there with the Scepter, where he's like little, his fucking pair of Scepters going through, taking on the Mars at the, the Omega level buddy, I can't, someone tell me it's fucking name. But the Omega level Sentinel, it was just unreal. It was outstanding. It was it was fantastic. But then, because the reason why is because that he, he lost, he lost. He, he did his best, and then it killed him with ease. But then, of course, you let Remy touch it. He's then going to go... But what a great moment to see it all light up like that, going all the way through all his fucking mechanical wires to be able to fill it up, and leaving it sort of like, my name is Remy, remember, remember it, and then fucking taking it out. What an absolute G. What an absolute heroic moment for him. It was unreal. I God, I fucking love Gambit. And he better not be dead for long um but yeah but then seeing obviously the ar- aftermath of genosha everyone like in absolute shocked cannot believe it cannot get over it they know their friends are there their friends are probably dead it's just it was heartbreaking in the wake of especially with everything's going on in the world at the moment it's just just seeing how it is it's just it's even in animation it's just it just breaks your heart doesn't it um but yeah then obviously then how it ends it's Rogue holding Remy saying, I can't feel, I can't feel you. It's just, <laughs> it's, I'm going to cry again, like sort of mirroring what she said before, but even though she is holding them, she can feel them. She can't feel his love. She cannot feel, I'm going to cry again. <laughs> can't feel him, like sort of like the warmth in which he is to her. It's heartbreaking stuff. Um, Wow. Wow. What an episode. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do in my life. I'm nearly crying. I, I know there's tears here. It's nearly going again. I am going to leave it there, guys, because if I think about it a bit more, my voice is going a little bit. Uh, I will leave it there. Fantastic episode. Cannot wait for the next one. If this is... It, I'll leave it there. So if you like the video, guys, please like the video. Comment down below. What do you think of this episode? What do you think of uh, Gambit's re- uh, like sacrifice? Of uh, of uh, Magneto's sacrifice? Rogue this episode? What do you think of Genosha having Kurt back? All this sort of stuff. Let me know. Uh, what do you think of everything to do with Jean and, and, and Madeline Pryor and and the kiss between Wolf? Everything. Let me know down below. If you like these types of videos, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Get a notification every time I upload. A bunch of video, uh, videos around here to do with me. I react to, uh, you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I've done that. The films, one to three, phase one to three, with my mate Josh. He only saw a couple of those. I also react to all the TV shows from there uh, for that. Um, for them, um, for Marvel. I've done some done so since um, Moon Knight. I also do reactions to Star Wars, the Star Wars uh, since Mandalorian season or Obi Wan um, forward. They're all on there. A lot of them are on there. Uh, I also do reactions to other shows that are coming out soon. Uh, uh, the uh, The Rings of Power that I'll be reacting that coming out soon. Um, Fallout when that comes out, I'll be uh, I'll be reacting to that because I love that game. I love those games. Uh, House of the Dragon season two. Um, Oh, uh, something else. Oh, the boys season there for uh, the Doctor Who um, shooties first one. I've reacted to those uh, by myself. I'll be reacting to those ones. I also do reactions from my little brother Charlie to New Who. A couple of uh, issues with uploading recent episodes, but I'll be back with them soon because I think everything looks good again. But overall, if anything that sounds like a takes your fancy, guys, like, subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz. But thank you again for watching. I'm going to go cry some more. I'll see you out there.